So what kind of doctor are you? I have what's called a doctor of philosophy, a PhD. So that is not a doctor like a medical doctor. It's somebody who studies a field, and my field is education, right? That's why I'm a superintendent. So don't ask me to, you know, check your temperature or things like that. I, that's not my field. Oh. <laughs> what's your most favorite part of be being a superintendent? By far, my favorite part is going out and seeing students perform. As a teacher, I got to instruct about 120 students. As a principal, I had about a school of about 3,800 kids, but as a superintendent, I can impact 40,000. So it's the ability to really reach wide and broad across the spectrum that attracted me to the superintendency. Did you see that you lost, because you don't work as closely with those 4,000 students, yes. did you see you lost a little bit of that connection, I guess? That Absolutely. You Absolutely. It's, it's the thing that you miss the most. When you go from the classroom, you really have tight connections with students, because obviously you're with them for an hour every single day, or an hour and a half, and they're block scheduling every single day. To go into the principal shift, you get a little bit further removed. When you get into my position, you got to force yourself and make time to get on campuses every day. And that's what I try to do, to create those relationships and to get to see students because ultimately, everything I do should impact you all positively. So what's your favorite subject? Hmm, my favorite subject is probably like science and math in school. Um, my favorite subjects would be writing, science, and math. Probably math because of the teacher. But I really like, like reading and writing. My favorite subject is language arts. My favorite course right now is probably, it's just a new course called Earth, Moon, and Fire. It's like an intro to geoscience. It's a UT honors course. I'm familiar with it. It's amazing. When I saw the title, I couldn't help but dance just a little bit with Earth, Moon, and Fire as the title. But <laughs> I have to tell you, I thought it was a fabulous course. I'm glad we approved it and got on wraps going through UT Austin. Yeah. What kind of pets do you have? Well, you know, I don't have any pets right now. Can you believe that? It sounds like you have some pets. What do you have for pets? I have eight pets. You have eight? Uh-huh. Tell me what they are. So I have one dog, two cats, four tortoises, and then one bearded dragon. You know, when I grew up, my mother had a tortoise. She called him Toma. Toma the tortoise. And we had him in the house all the time. And sometimes you'd find him like under a cushion or he'd just go anywhere he wants to go. Do your tortoise ever, ever get out and kind of roam around your house? Mm, no. That's good, you probably should keep them in a safe place. It's not good when they get lost. They're hard to find. What was your ripple that you turned into a wave or what's going to be your ripple that you're gonna to turn to oh, a wave? That's a great question. I've not been asked that question. You know, I think when you think about the term ripple, right, it's something small that you hope turns into something very large and positive for a lot of people. And I hope it's just by being kind and the interactions that we have each and every day. I hope when I'm kind to somebody, and treat them truly the way I want to be treated, that they'll reciprocate with the next person and the next person. And hopefully that wave will get bigger and bigger. Where do you want to go to school next year? Uh, next year, I'm looking to go to UT Dallas where they have a good uh, computer science program. What I hope to do in the future is try and at least make roller speed skating into the Olympics, which they have. But my optimal goal is to try and get to there. And I want to also have a sharp mind too, to get to MIT. You want to get to MIT and, and start an Olympic sport. Those are pretty lofty goals. Yep. But if you don't dream big, it may never happen. Right? I want to go to Wash U in St. Louis. Well, when you get to the university, the major piece of advice I can give you, having been a high school principal for a number of years and now a superintendent, is get involved. You know, find those clubs and activities to belong to. That will help you not only to feel comfortable at the university level, but it will teach you a lot of skills that you don't always get in the classroom. So tell me what you're thankful for as we head into the Thanksgiving season. I'm really thankful for my family and the unconditional support and love from the sense of community we have here at Denver. And all the teachers are so understanding and all our counselors. I'm just thankful for all these people that have gotten us to where we are as a school today. I'm really thankful for my family. I'm really thankful for my bunny and my sister. I'm thankful for having a good education. That's a quality answer. I like to hear that as a superintendent. I'm thankful for like my friends and my family, and my teachers. I'm thankful for my family and my pets and my dogs and all my, and my brother and my friends. Um, friends, family, a roof above my head. I'm very, very thankful for, you know, the life that I have, the situation that I'm currently in, you know, because, um, 
you know, a lot of not a lot of people can say that they go to a school as great as this one, because they don't have uh, the community as great as this one. That's what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for working in Leander ISD, for having students like you, because you are incredibly well spoken for second grade. I'm very impressed. I'm so appreciative of everything that we have and that we have available to us in Leander ISD. I'm thankful for the student body. When you look at the students at Vandergrift High School, they're second to none. And that's not just a motto we have in this campus, but it's truly something you all live out each and every day. Thank you for what you're doing to make this a better place for other students. Appreciate all your efforts. Good to see you again. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to be thankful when I get out of this chair. Look how small this chair is. This is a pretty small chair, isn't it? I think you did that on purpose.